The National Green Party is concerned about the perceived link between Western foreign policy and diplomacy for grant aid eligibility and the adoption of non-traditional values in this part of the world. Political leader NGP Andre de Caris cited a recent sit-down between Caribbean leaders and U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. He harbors qualms that U.S. aid could be contingent on the acceptance of supposed LGBTQI lifestyles. The VP raised the issue about the treatment of the LGBT community on the African continent. By observing the way in which the visit turned out, it seems that the U.S. is only prepared to assist nations that are willing to buy into their ideology regarding the LGBT community. The U.S. is obviously tone deaf when it comes to understanding foreign cultures and how these cultures view the LGBT issue in their respective nations. Throughout Africa, many of the countries hold traditional values, with liberal Western lifestyles being frowned upon. Dikeris points to reports of the diplomatic hiccup between the U.S. and Jamaica over the alleged denial of the accreditation of a diplomat with a same-sex partner. Jamaica law does not recognize same-sex couples. The NGP leader emphasizes the importance of respecting a nation's culture, values, and traditions. We at the NGP believe that in equal rights and justice for all, regardless of color, creed, race, religion, age, sex, social standing, economic standing, or sexual orientation, we believe that people should be free to be with the ones that they love and should not be discriminated against because of their choices, as long as the relationship is between two consenting adults. Let God be the judge. Where we take issue with this agenda is the fact that it is being forced upon us by the U.S. with little regard for our culture. Jamaica authorities have since downplayed the reports, stating there is no row between the countries which are working to comply with procedures and maintain diplomatic cooperation. Ikeris says St. Lucia needs no coaching on tolerance of the LGBTQ people. However, he opposes any perceived diplomatic coercion and the inappropriate exposure of very young children to adult behavior. We could actually teach the U.S. how to live in harmony with this community. But the real issue is the indoctrination of our school children in the form of textbooks being introduced to our schools. These books have already reached the shores of Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados. We already have an anti-bullying agenda being taught in our schools, which is enough education for our children to learn about discrimination. Apart from that, we certainly do not need little children being taught about kinky sex in schools or normalizing alternative lifestyles. There is enough time in their future dis to discover these things. So in closing, we are asking all parents, teachers and politicians to stand with us and reject this agenda that is being forced upon us. Efforts are underway to end the criminalization of same-sex unions on the statute books across the region to stop the discrimination of the LGBTQ community through anti-gay laws. However, the National Green Party is calling on education officials, parents, LGBTQI groups, church leaders, political leaders, and the wider public to speak from the same hymn book where young children and this hotly contested culture issue among consenting adults is concerned.